Hey guys, we're back with another Pocket Jeep video. Now, as you guys know, there's not been much movement on the forums, and as such, there's not been much progression for me either. Um, there's still going to be more content coming on the channel with regards to Pocket Jeep, Chip, and the Orange Pie, and there's still going to be uh, more on other single board computers. So, for those that want to know, uh, I do have a Snickerdoodle, which is an add on that is coming, and uh, hopefully, I'm going to be able to utilize that in some way into the videos. Um, what we do already. Uh, I know the Snicker Snickerdoodle is a completely different board. If you want to uh, f go check it out, there will be a link in the description below to Crowd Supply. It's a little different to what we're using at the minute, but uh, I guess once you learn certain things, you can do uh, exactly the same with that board as you can with other boards. But today we're going to take a look at getting Scratch run on the Pocket Chip, and it's very simple. All the commands are down below sudo apt get update and then sudo apt get install scratch now for those that don't know what scratch is it is a coding program for kids and as uh, some relatives have told me they have just started learning to code using scratch in school to start it you simply want to type in scratch for scratch and then press enter it's a fairly quick install and it installs uh, within a few minutes so it's not too bad and once we get there we actually get a nice little interface that does seem like it fits in with the with the uh, small screen of the pocket chip now I'm not entirely sure how we use scratch but you can see here that there's various different things and I believe it's a drag and drop interface for coding uh, and the likes uh, my uh, relative hasn't really delved into it too much with me I told I told them that uh, they have to teach me because they've been using it in school and I'm a complete newbie when it comes to coding but you can see it does fit the screen nicely and it actually looks great on the pocket chip now I'm using a keyboard and mouse but you can use a touch screen as well and it works really well it's quite nice and responsive even though it's a resistive but uh, overall it's quite a nice uh, program to be able to use if you like uh, coding and if you want to learn coding other than Pico 8 obviously this is another great example of a way to learn coding uh, on this fantastic little device so if you like this video hit the like button if you didn't hit the dislike button I apologize again for the shortness of the video I hope there's gonna be more to show very very soon I shall see you soon guys cheers